G'day mates and welcome back. This is Quirky and we have lights. The factory has lights. For those of you who watched my live stream replay of last week, I was actually putting in floodlights in here, but I ended up swapping them out because I was going mad with the floodlights. They were driving me a bit nuts. So I ended up ripping those out and putting in these, I think they're called powered lanterns. Powered lanterns, yes. There we go. So now we have powered lanterns. But the weird thing is, is that as I go around the floor here, I do notice I have low light levels. I've got sort of five sixes, the occasional four, but yet I'm still not getting spawning. There's nothing, there's no mobs spawning in here. Not that I'm complaining, that's not a complaint. It is just an observation. But anyway, we have lights. The other nice thing about these lights is that they act as relays. As you can see, these are all just strung to, well, each other. So that's quite nice. It means that wherever I am in the factory, I can use the lights as a power point. So say if I, I've totally forgotten to hook these back up. So say if I come down here to go to here, closest one's probably that one. I can just link like so. So that's quite nice. It means I have this web of wires all over the ceiling, but it's not going to be all over the floor so much. So that's kind of nice. Let's do the rest of these before I forget. Not that I really need these machines, but you know, it's nice to have them powered up. That one doesn't need power. Uh, this does. Like so, like so. One there. One there. The thing itself doesn't need power, and then that one can go up there like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's all powered now. Now, for power, speaking of which, I do have this frankly slightly ridiculous quantity of windmills which is very nice. I also set up this sort of bank system. Now capacitors from immersive engineering don't work the same way that capacitors from Ender.io do as I discovered. These will not uh, join together when you have them in a bank like this. These still, Each of these blocks still act as their own bank or their own capacitor sorry. They don't go together in a bank like the Ender.io ones do. So that's why we've got this sort of weird web of cables going down. All the power comes in from the, the windmills, comes down there, hits the relay next to all the connectors, and then underneath it's the same in reverse. So we've got connectors underneath. We go down here, connectors underneath. I did have a relay under there originally, but then I swapped it out for a light because I thought I might as well. And now we've got this rather quite ugly actually set up here with all the the connectors and so on but that's fine that's fine i would like to make more power gen though i know these are ridiculously full in fact the lighting is not even putting a dent in my power generation there but i would like to make more power and the way i'm going to do that is with these garden cloche i think Pronunciation is not my strong suit, but we're going to use those. We're going to put potatoes in them, and then we're going to have there's machines and things. Hang on a second. Heavy machinery. Fermenter. Here we go. Right. Fermenter extracts ethanol from certain fruits, grains, and vegetables. So that's going to take ethanol from the spuds, which is good. Where's that table? Here we go. Right. It doesn't matter which of those fruits or veggies I use, they're all going to produce the 80. So I'm just going to go with spuds. That seems like it's going to be easiest, I reckon. And then that, the ethanol from that needs to go into the refinery. Yes, I think so. This is the refinement of plant oil and ethanol into biodiesel. There we go. So we want, so we're going to have the cloches with the spuds. Spuds are going to go into the fermenter to make the ethanol. Ethanol is going to go into the refinery to make the biodiesel. Biodiesel then goes into... Power diesel generator. There we go. So, hopefully, we're going to end up with this sort of cool self enclosed system thing. I'm hoping because the cloches need power, so I'm hoping that they it can be like a self powering system. So, the cloches will make the spuds and then da -da 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 power, and then that'll feed back both into the spuds and add extra power to the system. Maybe, hopefully, I'm not quite sure. Well, we're going to try it and see what happens. So, cloches, right. 
I have been I have seen these a little bit in other worlds in other worlds that I play in so hopefully I have some semblance of knowing what I'm doing right so this is what it looks like this sort of bell jar thing and then it has a GUI so we're gonna go in there we have a GUI we put in dirt I believe you can also put in like fertilized dirt and things from other mods but I'm not worrying about that just yet so we got the dirt We've got that, so that'll grow. There we go. So we have dirt and we have potato on the dirt. We have no power yet. We're we're coming to that. We're not up to that yet. So we'll have power. This is the output here. So the thing that grows will end up there. And then the other thing that it needs is water. Now that's something I need to sort out. Actually, I need to add water. And in the spirit of trying to keep things from immersive engineering there are things I can make to make that work so immersive engineering has I think it's called a pump oh maybe not hang on oh yeah fluid pump here we go right fluid pump one of those please I do not have enough fluid pipes that's the other thing I'm gonna need is fluid pipes whoops that's not how you spell fluid that's that's it there right all right let's make a bunch of those there we go and then if we come back to the pump like that beautiful right under pressure that's a yep I was gonna I was gonna sing the song then but I thought better of it oh dear right so we have the fluid pump let's put down hang on a sec let's put down all of these first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two rows. I'm going to have them back to back like that, which I think is okay. I think I can do it like that, maybe. Or do I want to... Hmm. Maybe just having the one row is going to be, going to be easier because the, the output of the thing is here. Power goes in at the top. You put the power up there. Water goes in here. I think. Ugh. Don't know what I'm doing. I don't think anything comes out of there. I think it's just here. I think they can be left alone. It would be convenient if this output and the water thing were on the same side. That would be really handy. But it's not. So let's just whoops. Let's just put these down like so, like so. Yeah, let's just give this a go like this. Okay, so let's grab the fluid pipes I could use ender IO oops fluid pipes but like I said I'm trying to keep it all immersive as much as I can and yep that goes together like that lovely I think you can just do it like that and then I hear a bat kill it kill it with fire and then maybe just in this corner I can do you need Oh yes, I filled everything in with sea lanterns, by the way. Filled everything in with sea lanterns. I was hoping that would help with my lighting problem, and then after I did it, I remembered that uh, when you have the upper slabs, the light doesn't count. It's when you have a lower slab that it counts. So that was for nothing. But anyway, I'm not going back and ripping it all out. So, bucket of water, please. Oh, is that? Hang on a sec. Is this drum nearly full? Oh! <gasps> Oh gosh, it's nearly full. I set this up as just like a fun thing just to see how long it would take to fill a drum from a reservoir. And yes, it's quite a long time. It's been going for a long time. Anyway, right, let's come back over here. Water, infinite water source, very good. Now I think I can just do that. No. Oh, it needs power. It needs power. Okay, let's power the pump. I'm going to try and make this self-sufficient first, sort of, rather than powering all of these off of that. I want to get this powered on its own, but the fluid pump does need to get going sort of straight away. So uh, do I have a... I do not have a connector. Connector, please. There we go. I probably don't need that many, but that's fine. Oh, unless I'm going to... Hang on a sec. I'm going to need them for here, aren't I? I'm going to need them from there. Yes, I will need those connectors. That's fine though. Right. Link that to that. And then hopefully 
No. Okay. I've done something wrong with the fluid pump. I thought you just had to put it over a water source. And then you're done. Oh, there we go. There we go. You have to configure it so it has an output. Uh, is it orange? I think it's orange for an output, actually. Like so? Maybe? No? I did find it in the book. Let's read the book. Oh, redstone. That was the other thing. Redstone. It needs a redstone sequel. Uh, hang on. Let's grab some redstone. It's night time and I'm still not getting spawns in here. Still not a complaint, but... <laughs> Let's just do that while we're there. Redstone. Oops. Let's do it with a torch. Can we do it with a torch? I don't want to block over there. Let's see. Um, does this need to be anywhere specific? Probably. <laughs> hey, there it goes. That got water. There's water in there now. Oh, good. Something happened. Something went right. That. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to do that. That's still. Hang on. Where can I put it? There it goes. Ah, oh, look, I did it. I did a thing. Hey, stop doing that. <laughs> stop holding it with your head, quirky, you derp. There we go. It's pumping water. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, fertilizer. Not worried about that right now. Potato. Dirt. There we go. How my little spud grow? Oh, wait, it can't. There's no power. Okay, uh, let's just for a test get some power in here. Whoops. Nectar. Hey, look! Look, 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 look! It's working! Oh, I got there eventually. I got there eventually. There we go. Spud. And then there we go. There's output. Ha ha. Yes. These will all be getting water as well. That's fantabulous. Good, 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 good. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just do one whole row like this. Like so, like so. I don't know if the pump hang on, is this one here getting water? Oh, the pump's more than enough to get all the water happening. Very good. Okay. Let's just go along whoops. Let's just go along. Put all these down. Get all the fluid pipes down. Whoops. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Then we're going to come back along here and get all the fluid pipes down. Like so, like so. Okay, so we now have a full 64 of these. I'm going to call them bell jars because I don't know how the other word's pronounced. <laughs> okay, 64 bell jars. They've all got the dirt and the potato in. They have all got a connector on the top. They have all got fluid going in. And they've also got the... I am using Ender Iosh. <laughs> the item conduits on the front to take the spuds out. Next step, fermenter. Going to be the next part. These are the pieces I'm going to need here, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. Let's go back. Fermenter, here we go. Right, yep, fluid pipes and stuff and things, yep. Okay, so let's come over here. Gonna be about here ish. And somebody gave me quite a good tip. Thank you for the tip, person who gave me the tip. To get to each of the if we pause that and then use these arrows, we can go through the the levels of the schematic. That's very handy. Thank you very much. Okay, so we need scaffolding, a light one, and two fluids. Like so, where's the fluid pipes? There they are. Right, one of these at the front. This is going to be a 3x3 three three, and I don't want it too far away, so maybe there, maybe here. Something like that. Like that, like that. 
Wait, was there one there? Yes. Two fluids. Like that. The other light block goes there. Redstone goes at the front here. Four cauldrons. Four iron sheet metals. Was that it? Did I just remember that all off the top of my head? I did! Oh my goodness. Right. Formed by using the engineer's hammer on the central cauldron from the side that has the engineering blocks. Okay, so I'm thinking this is the front then, I hope. I kind of want it facing the rest of the factory. Hey! There we go. Cool. Beans. Okay, so. Which buttons are which? That's the next thing. Right. What does this have? A, it does have a GUI. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Spuds need to come in. Somewhere. Uh, I think they're... Are they inputs there? Did I just... Whoops. Insert. And yellow for spuds. No. Or is that an output? Hang on. Which one's which? Orange is... Input... Orange is output. The blue is input. So that should work. Why is that not not taking any of the spuds? Finally! Ah! Finally! Right. Turns out immersive engineering does not like Ender IO conduits. So now we are going to be doing conveyor belts. Which is fine, and then that's going to go in there, and then it's going to make lovely, lovely ethanol. Good stuff. Now, the only thing I'm worried about now is that the outputs are here. And I would quite like this to go directly into the refinery. So I'm thinking now I'm going to have to, like, move this over or something, unless I can swap this to a... No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this down and move it over and maybe just have it in the middle somewhere rather than the, at the end. I think that's going to be going to be easier. So I'm going to move that, get all these conveyors sorted, and we'll see how we go. All right, we have conveyors all the way down, all the way down, into the middle here, into the fermenter. That is fermenting, although I do notice it's not going super fast, which is, hmm, maybe I have too many spuds growing for the, <laughs> for what needs to go in here, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so next step is, where's the book? Right, heavy machinery, refinery, here we go. Well, hey, shiny, shiny. Okay, so, ah, uh, don't tell me that. Oh, that's fine. Cool. Uh, I think what I can do here is do fluid pipes. Hey, hi there, ethanol. How you doing? All right, is that? Yeah, that's that's taking the fluid a lot faster than it's getting made. Hmm. That's not ideal. Oh, hang on. Power issue. It's not getting enough power. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's why it's going so slowly. There's not enough power. Um, can I... I need to get more power in here. That's okay. I'll come back to that. I can, I can always make more power. Let's get this working. Right, so there's ethanol in there. This is going to need power somewhere. There it is. Whoops. So like so, power, power. That one took power just fine, although it's not processing anything yet. So... Um... What else do we need here? I messed up. I messed up. Biodiesel requires two parts, 
ethanol, and plant oil. I forgot that second part with the plant oil. Okay, so what we are going to need here, we are going to need seeds. I'm going to do half and half potatoes and seeds. I could also use those seeds or melon seeds or pumpkin seeds, but I'm just going to use regular seeds. That's fine. And then, oh, hang on a second. That's going to give me wheat. And I don't really want wheat, quite honestly. Hmm. That could be a problem. Oh, well, we'll see how we go. Right, so that's that. I'm going to need to make the plant oil, put the seeds into a squeezer. I'm going to need a squeezer. I have one already, but it's on the other side of the factory, so I'm going to make another one. Squeezer, that's the one I need. Yep. Yep, I done derped. I did, I done derped. Okay. Let me make a squeezer. And then maybe I can get this thing working. We got it! We got it! Yes! We got it. I did have a slight issue in that the fluid output was on this side and not on that side, so now I've just got a pipe running underneath there, which is putting the... I just cut, chucked a couple of seeds in there to experiment. It made the plant oil. Plant oil went in here. Refinery, biodiesel. Woohoo! We're getting somewhere. Finally. Right. I really need to get all of these wired up at some point. And what I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do is actually just put a relay sort of above this and wire it up, rather than wiring all these up individually up to there, because I think that'll look hideous. But yes, that is... We're most of the way there. I still want to make the generator, diesel generator. Here we go. Biodiesel, blah, blah, blah. High output, work through fuel quick, quickly. I'm. This is probably not going to work as such. Now this is high voltage. So I don't know if that's going to be compatible with everything else I've got going on, but at least I'll have made it. This was what I wanted to get done today, was to make one of these, just to see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to get all the blocks for this, I'm going to build it, see what happens. Skabam! Bad for the environment? No! Orb the di- oh. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's okay. It's fine. Don't- don't panic. It's- it's- it's clean biodiesel. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so they're the outputs for the power. Inputs for the liquid are here, which is why I built it where I built it, so that I could just go boop boop like that. And then that. Does this thing have a. Does this thing not have a GUI? There's no. There's no GUI. Ah, oh, dang. Well, it's taken all of the. All of the biodiesel that I can tell. Do I need to do anything else? Let's look in the book. Yep, that's right click center, blah 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 blah. Fuels we input. Bottom corner is yes, energy will be output on the top. We split between the connected points. All terminal on the side will turn off the generator, survive the resonance signal. We don't want to do that. So wait, is that it then? Is it making the power? Maybe it is making the power, I don't know. I kind of expected movement. That must be the thing that inverts the... the D. What's this for? What is that? Let's... Have I got any connect... I need a connector. I need a... Actually, do I have a... That's an LV capacitor. So if this thing blows up, we'll know something's gone wrong. <laughs> That's just... Okay, so that is not taking power, although it might need... Hang on a second. Just stick it on a wall for a tick. Yep, needs to... Input. I think that's how they work. Let's do this. Put it back on there. Hey! Look, 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 look! It's going! Ah, it's going! I did a thing! Ah, oh, epicness! Right, okay, so I think it's run out of fuel already, but that's fine. That's good! Ah, oh, I got there eventually! <laughs> eventually I got there! That's very cool! 
Okay, so I need to finish wiring up all this so that I can get all the seeds and and what and the spuds. There go some more spuds. There they go. Look at the spuds. I'm gonna have too many spuds. <laughs> this is gonna be my ratio of spuds to machinery is is too high. Maybe I could actually duplicate this setup maybe over here. Have it again just to use up all the <laughs> all the spuds. Because this thing is going to end up full and full and full and full. And I need to get the wheat going to get the plant oil and ah, but it's working though. It's working. It worked. Yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.